Just possibly add specifically on India. Um, obviously, India, like China, is a, a, a hugely populous country, and uh, and the future of this pandemic, uh, to uh, a greater extent, will be determined of what happens in very large, highly populated, den densely populated countries. So it's it's really really important that India continues to take aggressive action at the public health level uh, and at the level of society to contain, control, suppress this disease and to save lives. India led the world in eradicating two silent killers or eliminating them in the country. Smallpox, one of the greatest successes of mankind, a virus that killed more people on this planet than all the wars put together. India, through targeted public health intervention, ended that disease and gave a great gift to the world. India also eliminated polio, um, another silent killer, um, and did a tremendous job on surveillance and finding cases and vaccinating and doing all the things that need to be done. So India has tremendous capacities. All countries have tremendous capacities. When communities are mobilized, when civil society is mobilized, when, as the Director General says, <clears throat> heads of state and governments drive an all of society approach. There are no uh, silver bullets here. There are no easy answers. Uh, if there were, we wouldn't be having to, to, to work so hard. We've got uh, measures we can take now while we wait for other solutions, and we must take them now. So it's, it's exceptionally important uh, that countries like India uh, lead the way and show the world what can be done and, uh, and, and, and do as they have done before, show that aggressive, sustained public health action from community right the way through to the head of state uh, can have a profound effect on the trajectory and the outcome of this pandemic.